adjust the frequency for the transceiver, the keyboard four-way controls are used. Press left arrow or right arrow to change the frequency down or up. For example, let's press the down arrow several times and watch the frequency go down in 1 hertz steps. Pressing the right arrow key steps the frequency up. The up and down arrow keys change the step size. By pressing the up arrow, we increase the step size from 1 Hz to steps to 10 Hz steps. This change is indicated by the small zero at the last digit of the frequency display, indicating our step size. Now when we use the left and right arrow keys, we are stepping by 10 Hz. Pressing up arrow a second time increases our step size to 100 Hz. The display indicates this with two small zeros. Now we are stepping in 10 Hz steps. We can increase the step size even further all the way up to 10,000 Hz. Returning to 100 Hz steps, we can scan the band by holding down the up arrow key and use the keyboard auto repeat function. You can always see what your step size is by referring to the frequency display. Use 1000 Hz steps for a faster band scan. Once you tune in a station, reduce the frequency steps to 100 Hz to refine the tuning, then finally to 10 Hz steps. We will discuss tuning the CW station for accurate decoding later. Across the bottom of the text area are the five control buttons. We have already discussed the menu button. The call and answer buttons are transmit control buttons supplemented by the captured call sign or CCS button and the transmit and receive frequency button we just demonstrated. Each of the two transmitter control buttons, call and answer, have two different functions. For the call button, the functions are general call and directed call. A general call is simply calling CQ. Pressing the call button activates the general call. The call button turns red, indicating that we are in the transmitter mode, but notice that the CWL LED is not blinking. We are not transmitting. In the status line, a question is being asked, set call WPM equals question mark. This question is required because this is the first time since power up we have used the transmitter and a transmitting speed has not yet been set. WPM means words per minute and can be from 5 to 60. In the usual case, we just press the space bar to enter the default 20 words per minute and start the transmitter. Once we do that, the general call begins. Note that it consists of four CQs followed by a DE, which means from, and then the calling station AF7YQ twice. The sequence will continue forever until I press the call button again. Notice that when pressed a second time, the call button turns from red to amber. <clears throat> this ink indicates that the transceiver is ending the transmission at the end of the current repeat. The escape key can also be used to instantly terminate, but this is generally not good practice. The frequency button is now displaying RIT mode. RIT stands for Receiver Incremental Tuning and is a fairly standard feature on most modern transceivers. It allows you to adjust the frequency of the receiver without changing the transmitter frequency using the same frequency controls demonstrated earlier. Step size is limited to 1, 10, and 100 Hz steps. To exit RIT mode, simply touch the frequency button.